Michael Kors, thank you for having us. Great to be here. Very excited. So tell us a little bit about the collection. You know, when you think about big city life, it's always been fast, it's always uh -huh. been hectic, but life today is faster than ever. It is. And I say to live in a big city, you've got to be kind of an athlete. Yeah. Um, so you've got, to, you've got to be able to move like an athlete, have the endurance of an athlete. But for, you know, the Michael Kors customer, you never want to give up glamour. Mm -hmm. You never want to give up polish. Um, so this is kind of urban athleticism meets Park Avenue polish. It looks fabulous. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah. Take us a little bit about the creative process. Do you plan out season to season, or do you just take it one collection at a time? Uh, you know, in a strange way, it's, it's twofold, my process. You know, I always think that I'm on a journey with my customers. Uh -huh. You know, my customers have clothes in their closet that sometimes are 20 years old. Yeah. Uh, they hold on to everything. We don't see a lot of Michael Kors in vintage shops which I think is, you know, testament to the fact that people actually wear it, yeah. <laughs> um, which is a good thing. Yeah. Um, so I think about where we've been before and where are we going next. Um, but then it's really in my gut what I think is really right and what, I don't know, my antenna just kind of tweak, uh -huh. you know, and I go like this. And when we started working on this collection, I, I was thinking about just watching people on the street, whether I'm in Shanghai or New York, London, mm -hmm. Sao Paulo, and people are like devices, coffee cups, headsets. I mean, everyone's like this. And then, of course, uh, while we started, Hurricane Sandy hit. Yeah. And, you know, I live downtown and I have a house at the beach. And I thought all about the fact that, you know what? As New Yorkers, we somehow persevere no matter what comes our way. We keep on going. We keep on going. Yeah. So, you know, glamorous armor is a thing that's helpful in any big city. <laughs> that's great. Well, speaking of glamour, the Oscars are coming up. Is there a particular actor or actress you'd love, you would love to see wearing your clothes? Um, well, you know, a lot of people are nominated, uh, our clients, and have worn our clothes. Um, so, you know, there's, there's, there's no one in particular this year that we haven't dressed that I'm like, oh, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm super excited, uh, you know, to see, see what happens at the awards. Daniel Day-Lewis to me is just mind-blowing. You know, he's one of these Great. people who just disappears into every role he does. Uh -huh. and, and, and I don't even know it's him, and suddenly I feel like I, I know Lincoln, yeah. which is amazing. <laughs> Great, thank you for having us. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.